Hi everyone. Today I am going to present a topic artificial intelligence and agents. This is Vimal here, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE, Vale Tech Malitech Engineering College. To start with, what is artificial intelligence? We can't say a correct definition for AI, but in general, an AI is dealing with um, making a machine to work like a human being. So it should incorporate all the functionalities and capabilities of a human being. So based on this, the artificial intelligence systems can be classified into four times. The systems which will act like a human being, the systems which will think like a human being, the systems which will act rationally and the systems which will think rationally. systems acting like a human being for a system to act like a human being it should have the following four capabilities first one is the natural language processing second it is the knowledge representation third it is the automated reasoning and fourth it is the machine learning natural language processing is needed because the instructions may be given to the artificial intelligence system in a, any natural languages like English or something by its owner. So the machine has to understand the natural language uh, statements or the instructions and it has to convert into the machine understandable format. So it has to represent the knowledge. So knowledge is nothing but the instructions or any percepts it has got from through the sensors. After getting the knowledge, it has to be represented in the format. It can be understood by the machine. After the input has gone, then we have to go for the processing. That processing is done by the processing unit. Here the processing unit, if we call it as agent program, which does the automated reasoning, understanding the percepts and the instructions, and it will decide a particular action which will be given to the actuators. Then finally, the machine learning. The machine learning is needed for a agent or AI system because it has to learn from its previous experiences. For example, uh, a current situation can be helpful for any other uh, future situations which can be used for its actions to be taken. When we are going for a system which will be acting like a human, um, Turing has performed a test to check whether a human is, uh, sorry, whether a machine is working like a human. So we'll be having a computer or, uh, and a human being in different rooms. An integrator will be asking the questions and receives answers both from the human being and the computer. So once the question is asked, the system will also be providing the answers as we a human human will also be doing. So to understand the question and the reasoning and represent the knowledge for all these things, the system has to have these four capabilities, the knowledge, the natural language processing, knowledge representation, automated reasoning and the machine learning. Next, systems that think like a human being. So for this, we have to formulate our mind or brain so it involves the cognitive science and physiology testing the different actions which was going on inside our brain and also we should have cognitive neuroscience so it's totally involves whatever the actions which we do inside our brain so reasoning and thought processing everything governs a system which will be thinking like a human systems thinking rationally rational is the word which defines this kind of a system. A rational thinking is nothing but to do the correct action. So whatever the perceived sequence it may be given, the system has to do only the correct action. So an rational agent can be also viewed as an ideal agent. So the rational thinking and the rational process, everything will be done by the loss of thought. The loss of thought is nothing but a set of rules and regulations based on which an agent will be taking an action. So this loss of thought can also be called as a syllogisms. 
it involves different notations and logics systems acting rationally a system acting rationally will also try to produce a best outcome so whatever the perceived sequence is given to it it will be trying to maximize its output so the output will be the best for the current perceived sequence so it will also be using the syllogisms or the laws of thought for performing its actions now we come to the topic of intelligent agent an agent agent is one which perceives the environment and acts upon the environment based on the perceptions it has taken and based on the agent program the agent program decides what kind of an action has to be done so the rational agent will carry out an action which gives the best outcome considering the persons so why we call a ai system as an agent because an agent is one who perceives or gets the instructions from the owner and it does only the actions which was given to it it can't perform anything apart from what it was supposed to do foundations of ai the following are the different foundations of ai philosophy mathematics economics neuroscience psychology control theory and linguistics these things forms the foundations of ai without these things it is not possible to implement a ai system this is a pictorial representation of an agent if you see here this is an agent unit will have a sensor so the sensor will be getting the perceptions from the environment perceptions can be seen as an input of a computer system so but here we kind in the name term as perceptions why because the sensor has to take its own input it has to perceive its input and it has to store it so we call it as a perceptions and based on the perceptions the agent program based on different action rules and set of rules etc it will decide what kind of an action has to be done the action will be done by these actuators so the actions will be changing the environment agent function the agent function can be written as a equal to f of p so it is a function of percept based on the current percept the agent function decides an action this agent function maps the percepts to actions so for any set of percepts the agent function finds out a set of action the structure of an agent an agent can be comprised of two units the architecture plus the program the architecture involves the units of the agent the sensors and the actuators the sensors can be like a camera etc and the actuators can be like a robot uh, arms or etc so the actions which the actuators is going to perform will be governed by the program the agent program or the agent function which is a main part of our agent unit when we are going to see about an agent we have to specify the task environment the task environment can be specified by the peas the peas is nothing but the performance measure environment actuator and the sensor so if you take it as a vacuum cleaner uh, the performance measure is to clean the ground without any dirt the environment will be the ground the actuators will be the unit which will be sucking the dirt sensors may be an inbuilt camera which will be sensing the ground floor to find out any dirt is there in the ground or not properties of an environment these are the different classifications of the environment where the agent may be working the fully observable or the partially observable environment fully observable environment means the environment where the agent is working can be fully seen by the agent the partially observable environment is where it can view only a part of the environment 
next second time deterministic and stochastic deterministic means what is the type of uh, action may be coming out of we can understand stochastic is the next action cannot be predicted the third classification is episodic and sequential episodic is one if the first action is completed then the next action can be tried out that is episodic sequential there is no any uh, first action or second action etc it will go on as a sequence of different actions next static versus dynamic where the environment will not be changing we call it as static environment if the environments may be changing time to time then it is a dynamic environment discrete and continuous environment discrete the time constraint is for particular period then we call it as a discrete environment continuous environment there is no time bounds the agent will be working continuously and the last type the single agent and the multi agent environment single agent environment as the word says there is only one agent involved in this process in multi agent environment multiple agents may be involved types of agents in general the agents can be classified based on the agent program the agent program decides what kind of an agent it is the agents can be simple reflex agent model based reflex agent goal based agent utility based agent and learning agent simple reflex agent if you see to this diagram the agent is working on the environment the sensors will be getting the percepts from the environment and it analyzes what is the world like now that is what is the current situation based on this it will be deciding an action what it has to do this action will be decided by the condition and action rules so we have a set of rules which governs what kind of an action can be done for example if you take it as a vacuum cleaner again the condition is dirty means it has to suck the dirt if the condition is clean means it has to move to the next position after deciding the action this will be forwarded to the actuators and the actuators will be doing the action which may be changing the environment model based reflex agent if you see to the previous agent and the current this agent some differences are there one is the state unit and how the world evolves what my actions will do so same way i like a simple reflex agent the sensors will be getting the percepts the percepts whatever we have got it is will be stored in the state variable the state variable is a new thing which may be deciding an action based on the previous history for example if a particular uh, situation is coming now the situation have came across by us in a previous situation we will be considering the previous situation what kind of action we have done in that particular state and we can uh, decide whether that particular action can be done now so the state variable will be uh, saying those details so based on this state variable only we call this agent as a model based agent so state variable will be seen to the previous history and we will be proposing an action so if that particular action is going to be taken we have to understand how the world will be evolving what that kind of an action will be changing to the environment etc then based on the state input and the sensors input i can decide a particular action well again the action will be decided by the as condition and action rules the condition and action rules are very important based on which only the final action will be decided and it will be given to the actuator the next agent is goal based agent the goal based agent is a modification for of the previous model based reflex agent in the model based reflex agent we have the new unit called as state which will be stored in the previous history so based on the previous history of actions we can decide a particular action so if we have a set of rules a set of actions i have to check out which action will be very much feasible for me so if i am doing an action a what will be the changes if i doing if i am doing an action b what will be the changes if i am doing some other action what will be the changes we have to understand and one more change in this goal based agent is there in the previous two agents in the simple reflex agent and in the model based reflex agent 
we had the conditioned and action rules but here we have the goals here the goals replace the conditioned action rules so this agent is totally based on the goals goal is nothing but if you have a different action a uh, different set of action to be performed i will be trying to achieve a particular goal for example same vacuum cleaner if you take it as our goal is to be cleaning the dirt and making the ground to be clean so we'll be deciding of our actions instead of going for to incorporate the conditioned action rules i will try to achieve my goal so goals is replaced here for the condition and action rules so based on which action can be taken it will be this given here based on the goals this action will be ta taken up and it will be forwarded to the actuator actuator will be performing the action on the environment here comes the third agent utility based agent what is utility here the utility is nothing but a numerical value for example if you are playing a game the number of points you get we call it as a utility so the utility is replacing the goal of the previous agent if you have seen to the goal based agent and the utility based agent here we have introduced the unit of utility instead of the goal here also we get the sense uh, inputs from through the sensors that is the percepts which will be stored in the state variable state variable will be having the previous history also and we we'll propose an action and we have a different types of actions we have to choose up which one will be the uh, best one for choosing among the different types of actions we have a different types of goals so the to choose a better action we use the utility for example if you are playing a game one move can be getting you 10 points and another move will be getting you 100 points obviously we'll be going for the move which gets you the 100 points so this goal has to be achieved so the different goals conflicting goals have different utility values this type of an agent will be working to improve the utility value so this is a utility based agent the utility based agents are mainly used in the gaming environments so we select a action which gets the highest utility value which will be forwarded to the actuators and the actuators will be performing the final action the last type of an agent is called as a learning agent any human being can be considered as a learning agent as we learn time to time day to day and we store something in our brain which can be helpful for the previous uh, sorry the future actions so it is totally different from the previous agents here also we have the sensors and actuators but we don't have the uh, state variable the state variable can be replaced by the critic unit here so the critic unit the sensors persons will be stored in the critic unit the critic unit will be uh, providing the feedback to the learning element so to give the feedback it uses a performance standards there will be different standards for any performance to be done this will be proposed by the critic to the learning element then the learning element is the main unit of this learning agent it will be giving some changes to the performance element the performance element will be doing deciding the particular action based on the sensors sensors will give the percept based on the percepts the per performance element may be deciding an action and now the learning element is giving some changes that means the action which was proposed by the performance element can be asked to be changed by the learning element how the learning element is asking for changes is based on the performance agent and the feedback given by the critic unit if the performance element finds out the changes can be incorporated then it takes up the changes and it will be incorporating the knowledge to the learning element that is i have taken up this action for this current situation this knowledge will be fed up to the problem generator the problem generator will be storing the 
different actions as learning goals in it so the problem generator will also be having different actions stored in it from the previous situations so it will also be proposing some action to the performance element so the performance element has to take up one action among these three the first one is the action which was decided by on its own the second action is given to it through the learning element based on the changes it was it was proposing and finally the problem generator will be providing the another action based on the previous history so among these three which one is the feasible which one is the best one it will be decided by the performance element and finally the action will be proposed to the actuators and the actuators will be doing the action so the learning agent mainly it will be involved in a unknown environment or partially observable environment so the learning agent is very much important when we are going for the ai concept thank you for patient listening that's all for the agent and the ai systems if you have any comments and queries kindly mail me to this id vrvimal at veltech multitech.org thank you thank you one and all